And we are back! Time to start the game proper. A training battle between Gohan and Piccolo. At which point the game already completely expects you to understand how to play. Piccolo does not pull any punches. That fast means we get to attack first. And we drew something. What did we draw? Let's see what we got. Four stage attack. Useful. Useful. Pretty good. We got decent cards, but the secret to this game is holding on to your command points. Now, what else we can do is... Jack all. So what we're going to do is use this four stage attack. Which means we put in four car four commands. You have 1.2 seconds to do it. Piccolo does not bother to try and defend himself in the least. And the animations are actually a little different depending on uh, what your commands end up being. Now we can choose to do nothing or move. I'm going to move up to the sky because I know what he's going to do. And we have better guarding against uh, physical attacks in midair. On the ground, you have better guarding against key attacks. Okay, what did we get this time? Foresight. That will be useful. Gather power lets you use your limited set card, but we're going to save that for now. You can pick at any point, and Piccolo moved forward. He must have moved up to the sky, too. So he's right in our face now, which means he will hit harder. Which means... We're going to use this, because he's going to try and use a command card on us. And Foresight makes it fail. That's not necessary right now. We're faster than Piccolo is. What is our limited card, anyway? 25 from Asenko. Yeah, the secret to this game... is basically... Hold on to your key, hold on to your command cards and so you can get a uh, couple of special attacks in in a row, which will do the brunt of your damage for you. Oh, what else do we got here? Two chaozus. We're going to hold on to that. No, not gather power yet. The directions knock people in various directions. A and B just do basic attacks. And that's how that works. Isn't that wonderful? Another big part of this is knowing how the AI is going to react. Piccolo's gathering, pow gathering power, which means he's more than likely going to try and peg us with something nasty in the next turn or two. Ooh, what did we get there? Hey, Masenko, we don't even need to... Uh, Junction for it. Yeah, you know what? We're going to use it. He's in the air.
so he'll take a bit of extra damage from it. Now, what usually happens here... is he uses a command thing, and then next turn he'll use something nasty. He'll more than likely use a continuous punch or kick, since I don't think he has a good beam card, but... How do we get there? Three stage attack, that's worthless. Let's gather our po Let's gather our power and get rid of the stupid three stage attack. Piccolo moved right into our face, that's not cool. Don't think he's going to use a beam attack on us, but let's, uh... Oh, he did! Awesome! With that avoiding card, that means we will take no damage from this. Fuck you, Piccolo. Now that we've gathered key, a few things will be a little different. Namely, our basic is now a four-stage attack. And you get a little more time to do it. And as you can see, we knocked him away from us. I'm gonna just stay over here. Just until more than likely just knock us away if we try to move forward anyway. Now, the other thing we can do is use our limited cards. Uh, let's get rid of a Chiaotzu. To do massive damage, unless he avoids it. Ah, he moved to the ground for a little extra defense. Jerk. Well, we've got him already, so whatever he does is completely pointless. What's how we get now? I don't even know what that means. I mean, honestly, I have no idea what that Bulma card does. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> now, if I do this just right and everything works out in my favor... Damn it, he knocked us away again. Oh well. It should still work, I think. And if it doesn't, we're gonna be in a world of hurt. But, I think it will. This should be enough to knock him out. Especially since he moved forward into it. Yep, there we go. We're good.
And with that, we get a card, because we want a battle. We can select one of three cards. We can select Continuous Punch, another Chaozu, or Kayo. I forget what he does, too. But because I am feeling somewhat generous, I will let you guys vote. What card should I use? This will somewhat, uh... Hmm. Decide what my strategy will be in upcoming fights as time goes on. But... I will leave that in your hands and work with what I get. The number on the left... Or the number on the right shows how many of each card we have. We have one Continuous Punch, two Chaozus, and zero Kaios. At most, we can have three of any one kind of card in our hand, in our deck, I believe. So keep that in mind. Anyways, I'm going to save right here. Let me know what I should take. Later.